Hey guys, DK Web Design Studio here, back again for another video. Today we're looking at SEO for your Wix website. How do you define the meta title, meta tags, and meta description? Basically, the descriptions that are going to show up on Google and any search engine when somebody is looking up a keyword uh, and they happen upon your site. So the home page is the one that we're going to be defining today, and this is one of my example sites. And what you're going to do in Wix, you're going to open up the Menus and Pages tab on the side menu and click the three dots next to the page you want to update. Go navigate down to Page SEO. And on this page, we can scroll on down. There's an example of what it's going to look like uh, in Layout. And we're just going to define the title of the page on the search engine, what's going to show up as the title. So we'll say DK Web Design Studio. Then I might do a divider there and say home page, or I can say official site. Something that stands out that tells somebody quickly what your page is, is about. Fortunately, the name of my brand has web design in it. So people are like, oh, maybe it's a web design tutorial service or somebody that can, I can actually hire to do some freelance work what the page is about. So here we're gonna add a description. We might say something like, uh, let's see, DK Web Design Studio is the premier uh, online location for learning about web design with Wix 2018. And we say, click here to learn how to design your website in less than 24 hours. So what I'm doing here in the second sentence is creating a call to action, a reason why someone would want to click. And if they're looking for a very fast way to learn how to design a website, then they will be more likely to click and I'll be getting more traffic from the keyword. It's not that important. I think people recently at least have been downplaying the importance of this, but I still think it's great practice to uh, create a sales pitch in anything that you're pu putting out there um, from a marketing perspective and in order to increase the likelihood that people are going to click on your website over competitors. All right, then we're going to scroll on down here and add a couple keywords. Uh, this always says optional, but uh, it's pretty important. I Just again, best practice, include the keywords, why not? Uh, it may not weigh very heavily with Google search engine algorithm for SEO, but by all means, add the keywords, maybe one day um, it'll come back in importance. So I'm gonna put something like um, web design tutorials with Wix, Wix 2018 web design help uh, learn to create website with Wix, Wix sites from scratch. So what I'm doing here is just creating different queries. I think people are going to be looking up basically keywords that someone's going to search uh, in the search engine for and may come across my site because of it. Um, make sure that this is not hidden from the results and you can also define the page URL. If I want to change it from home, I can say home page or, or really define the the name of this page any way that I want. And that's pretty much all there is to it. So definitely, and remember you're, if you do it on one page and you have multiple pages on your site, be prepared to go to each of the pages and develop something unique for each of those pages. Uh, there's nothing helpful or useful about copying the same content. Keep it different, keep it interesting. Uh, it might save you some time to copy the content, but uh, originality shows uh, at least Google and your page visitors that you that you put a lot of attention into your website, uh, including all of the different pages that contribute to the final product. So I hope this video was helpful. Leave me a comment, like my video, and subscribe to my channel. Look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Thanks.